Welcome to Tablet to Table's enhanced e-publication series, where we take a look at the delights of our culinary history. We're here at Shadowfax Wineries, just a short 30 minute drive out of Melbourne to preview our seventh issue of our first volume. And we're taking a look at one of the essentials of the dining table, wine. Taking us through the grapevines is our feature writer, Max Allen. A lot of Australia's vineyards, of course, in the 19th century were established by English gentlemen vignerons, if you like. And there was this idea in the 19th century that Australia was going to be the vineyard of the empire. And that's exactly what it did, but the wines that it supplied in the late 19th and early 20th century tended to be fortified wines, so port and sherry styles, that were pretty cheap and pretty rough, but a huge market for it. And it's only really in the last 20 or 30 years that these, these kind of wines have begun to take hold in the UK. Darcy Kernow, sommelier at Maha Bar and Grill in Melbourne, takes the kitchen cork off. His expertise in wine and creating a wine list goes on show. It's easy to match a wine that's from the area that the food's from. You know, so I would say with our, one of our signature dishes is our slow cooked lamb. And I would say Cabernet's a great one and we've got a great selection of Chateau Moussard, which is from the Bicar Valley in Lebanon. And it's a, you know, something like that is perfect and it's something you won't see everywhere else. When it comes to imbibing, modern dining tables accommodate much more than just wine. And so it's off to Mountain Goat Brewery, where we talk with John Cope Williams about Australia's other beverage of choice, beer. Beer and food is a, uh, is a bit of a no-brainer, I think, um, especially uh, a lot of breweries are putting their beers into bigger bottles, um, encouraging people to pour it into a glass to actually uh, look at the colour and to think about the beer rather than just sort of swigging it out of the bottle. Um, but beer and cheese is a very understated uh, match. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, beer and cheese nights. And in fact, uh, wine and cheese, which is a traditional um, match, so the, uh, the cheese coats your mouth and then the wine coats your mouth as well, whereas the beer um, sort of washes the, the cheese away and, and actually leaves your palate fresh for, for more. As always, enjoy your wine responsibly, and for more information, visit tablettotable.net. May good times prevail.